Nearly two years since the Festival Foods in Holman closed, new doors are opening for that space. The vacant property will soon become a community center with a Boys and Girls Club location. Well, News 8's Mel Meyer is live at the site with how the plans are coming together. Yeah, good evening, Mike and Martha. The closing of the Festival Foods location happened while the Holman area was looking to build a community center. Now that the multi-million dollar property has been gifted to the cause, organizers say they are excited to see what's in store for the new community space. It is really great to see you all here today. When the new Festival Foods location opened down the road, the North Holman Drive site cleared out. Holman is one of the fastest growing communities in the state of Wisconsin. The store just outgrew its service. There have been talks about potential offers, but they would always fall through for one reason or another. So why don't we just give it away? It wasn't until recently they felt something bigger was telling them there were other plans for the site. This is not to be a location for another retail space. There is a better use for this building. Dave and Barbara Skogan decided to donate and renovate the property, a cost upwards of $4.5 million for the project. We're across the street from the middle school, uh, down the road from the high school, and elementary schools are, are close by. Not only will it be the perfect location, it will be one of the first Boys and Girls Club with multi-generational program. There's a need for, for kids to be active, kids to be connected with adult role models. Site plans include two gyms, a playground, space for the Holman School District, and the long-awaited community center. Persistence and belief in accomplishing something that you see as a need can happen if you stay the course. Those involved with the project hope it will provide for the needs of many. Our people have a safe and welcoming place to go, and we will become a stronger community because we will be together. So much of the money needed for the project has been pledged by the Skogan family and the Holman Area Community Center Foundation. Details of an agreement with the Boys and Girls Club has not yet been announced, but organizers say they will need about $1.5 million worth of donations from the community by the end of the year in order to bring this project to fruition. Mike? All right, thanks a lot, Mal. A groundbreaking on the site is expected for some time this fall. The goal is to open the facility in the fall of 2020.